Good day everyone, it's David here from RF Shop. Um, I'm going to run through a few videos here in the back backyard um, at home, but uh, one of the big issues that I currently um, see uh, happening a lot is confusion between Expo 1 and Expo 2. Now Expo 1 and Expo 2 are actually vastly different, but if you just look at the um, stock photos that you get um, for them, putting them side by side as you, as on this, um, as you have on this data sheet, um, they actually can look quite similar. Square looking, um, roughly the same dimensions, just by looking at the photo, but they are fundamentally totally different. Um, and that's why just basically there's a, there's a quick guide here um, for the antennas. I just want to run through those and also explain why the Expo 1, which is an Omni antenna, is you know, quite a bit cheaper than the um, Expo 2. And it's because there's actually fundamentally a huge difference between them. So if you just look at the, um, the quick guide that you get on the um, pointing website, uh, just go back there. Frequencies are the same. So they work in the same frequency bands. Um, I'm specifically looking at the Expo 2 5G. So if you compare 5G versus 5G, so frequency bands are the same because that's the, the design intent. Maximum gain, 3 dBi for the Omni antenna. Maximum gain, 11 dBi for the directional antenna. Um, and then the next one, radiation pattern, omnidirectional for this one. So this one is omnidirectional. This one is what they call here di unidirectional. I just normally use the word directional. Um, they both have MIMO. And then the size, of course, you'll see this one is smaller on the list, which is obvious compared to this one. But I mean, just, 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 just to quickly explain this in, in kind of human nature, human terms to explain what it is. If I say this thing is omnidirectional, it means you can put it on any surface and in any orientation. It is meant to do the same job in every direction. So you can put it this way, or you can put it this way, it doesn't matter. It does try to connect to whatever it can find, whatever there's, um, wherever there's a base station. This one is much more focused. This is directional, so facing the camera. I can now pick up what comes from there and my stream will, signal will therefore be much stronger. Now, I did a YouTube video where I tried to explain this using a balloon. So basically, coming out of a radio, you have this much power or this much sensitivity. And that's just basically an isotropic value of say zero dBi. Once you start to manipulate the balloon shape, once you start to manipulate where the antenna can work, you can get that kind of coverage that you specifically want. But you still only sit with one volume of power. So you can't just get better gain and then say this is a better antenna. It's better gain for directional antenna. So this thing, it's like that balloon image I had. You basically squash it like a donut. It can look everywhere, but it can't go as far out. It is not as strong as it is with a, another antenna, which is then where you get this one, directional antenna. The balloon shape that I had is basically you force all the air, you force all the focus in this direction. So it works not good at all to the back and maybe into the sides. Forward, it works awesome. It will work better in one direction than it will be on that one. So the problem that we experience is people buy based on price. This is a simpler antenna. It doesn't have all the um, awesome you know, performance um, characteristics that the Expo 2 has. So it is a little bit of a cheaper antenna. If you put them side by side and you have two photos that look, look rough, roughly the same, the tendency is to say, well, let's go for the cheaper one. Let's see if that works. But it's actually, Performance was totally different and if you are in a fixed building, um, I'm more in the suburbs. So of course in the city where you have lots of reflections, it's a different um, different scenario. But if you're in the suburbs, in the outer regions where you know, that's my base station over there. I want to go to that place. It's almost to me pointless to put an Omni on because the, point, the Omni antenna will work quite well here to the back, but it's pointless because everything goes that way. Definitely go for the Expo 2. A little bit more expensive, but you know what? You get much more performance in that direction. Um, this has been a phenomenal antenna up to now, um, still going strong, has been fabulous um, results, feedback from the market, so certainly having a lot of focus on the Expo 2. Expo 1, it's more for people that are mobile, maybe in inner cities, um, you know, CBDs where there's a lot of um, reflections from buildings, um, even in a caravan, when a caravan is stationary in a certain way one day and another place another day with another setup and it's easy because it comes with suction cups you can put it up and you can take it down easily um, so it has its place in different applications this one has its place when it's a fixed installation you know where you want to go and you want the best for that specific direction but in a compact in a fairly lightweight um, i think it's about a kilo at most um, weight antenna so that's the difference between these two antennas. Important to know, so the price is not the thing that makes one better or the other one. It is really the type of application and the engine involved. Um, 
Thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to let us know through our YouTube channel or go to our website as well. Um, other than that, please subscribe if you haven't done so yet and give us any suggestions if you have any questions you want us to look at otherwise as well. Thanks for watching. Bye.